because I don't wrap it like it's just too much to try to wrap weave weave workout today I'm so proud of myself because see that I didn't do everything I wanted to do but I definitely I did good like it wasn't like for example like I wanted to do 30 minutes on the Stairmaster but I did 20 minutes on the Stairmaster and it wasn't because I couldn't do 30 minutes it's just that because of time I wanted to make sure that I try my best to complete everything well not you know not complete because I didn't do 30 minutes but try to include everything that I can so as far as my but 
honestly the stairmaster and the jump rope that was just extra on top of my actual workout my actual workout was the five rounds of the hit exercise so I, I did complete that so I'm so proud of myself hey you about to get hit by a dead old car Jesus you just out here Lord help him all right I'm on my way home <laughs> hi you guys I am back home now I have not formally came and talked to y'all. I know it's been a couple of days since I uploaded a vlogtober, but that's okay, we are here now. I just sat down and ate my, well, I'm about to eat my lunch. I kind of burnt the chicken, let me show y'all. So the chicken just a tad bit burnt, but it's all good. So I just took some jasmine, I cooked the chicken first, cut it up, then put it back in the pan with some jasmine rice that I cooked in the microwave and I pretty much sauteed it together and then green beans on the side today we are getting my hair done you guys because look honey look at this so yesterday i had to wash my hair because y'all remember i was telling y'all before that the um like i don't even know if it's dandruff but even when i was washing my hair it would get so dry to the point where it just would flake up so bad. You would look at my scalp and it's dry. It, it was bad, y'all. Like, I'm going to insert a picture right here. <clears throat> now, mind you, this picture that I'm showing y'all, this picture is from when I had my faux locks in. Sorry if it's anybody that's like get squeamish with that stuff. But you know, like when you have a protective style in your hair, you know, of course, you're going to have like product build up around, you know, maybe the braids or the locks or whatever. But it should not be this bad. This it shouldn't be this bad. I was like, something is definitely not right. And this did not start with my scalp until after I had my eight year old. Well, he'll be eight tomorrow. And so I don't know. So I, I showed y'all before that I went to Target and I bought some scalp therapy stuff. But I still feel like that didn't like, that wasn't doing it for me. Um, I brought something else you got. I know I'm scratching right now cause it is a little itchy, but the it's some psoriasis shampoo and conditioner in one and it's pretty much like uh i guess over the counter medicated shampoo that you can buy y'all look at my scalp no flakes can y'all see it no flakes no flakes at all no nothing so and usually by now even after i wash my hair it still be bad so anyway we are getting my hair done today. I'm just getting it washed and straightened. So we're gonna do that. I have to leave here within about 30 minutes to get there on time. So I need to go ahead and eat my food. And um, what else? Oh my goodness, stuff keep crawling on me. What is this? Or is it just me feeling stuff and it's really nothing? Cause I don't see nothing, but I keep feeling stuff. <sighs> y'all i know it's mad later <laughs> i literally have not came on since y'all saw me earlier i went to go get my hair done my hair appointment was at one o'clock i ain't leave there till about five something because when i got there she was working on somebody's head she was doing a sew-in so while she was doing that like she had stopped doing the sew-in washed my hair put me under the dryer then went back to doing the sew-in. Then after she did the sew-in, she did the quick weave. So pretty much I was sitting under the dryer while she was doing all that. Then she did my hair. But um, anyway, all I did was get, in it, get it straightened. But she did add a couple of, of um, more tracks because my track was getting loose on one part. It's so dark, you guys. I'm so sorry. It's, 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 the, the sun is setting. And yeah. So... I'm on my way to go to Hot Tuna with my friend. Okay, I tried to put it on auto so it can try to adjust to the nighttime, but it still looks the same. <laughs> so, I guess I just gotta ride without talking to y'all. You know, usually I do my little rants in the car. Well, not rants, but I talk to y'all in the car because I like talking, which is why I have a podcast. So this is not your podcast event so shut up but we're about to go eat at hot tuna i have been there several times their oysters are 
so good and that their other food is good too so that's what we're gonna go do then i'm gonna go back home y'all i have so many clothes y'all i have so many clothes to fold it's embarrassing like i'm gonna show y'all because this, this is a safe space right 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 i have so many clothes to fold it is embarrassing i'm gonna i have to do it tomorrow oh there we are y'all can see me a little bit right quick you see i got my hair on the end just got it straightened this time instead of curl i did it this way because i said when i got a curl before i wanted it straight in some days so i said it's better for me to just uh have it straight now then if i want to curl it curl it that way so i won't have to curl straighten it from curls you get me you get me so yeah i feel so better now because my hair was terrible child when i sat down in the chair when i sat down in the chair to um get my hair washed she was like oh lord yeah oh you know <laughs> that just was oh child all right so i'm about to go ahead and play some music up top it used to show me the time like on the dashboard it used to show me the time and the weather that doesn't work anymore i can no longer use my remote um control like the car remote control that's on your keychain i can't use that to unlock my car anymore so it's like i have to do everything manually now the lights inside of my car like on the dashboard the radio and stuff like that don't work but it's just those things that don't work on top of that my bluetooth every time you know how your bluetooth is supposed to connect automatically when you get in a car and your phone is near it my bluetooth does not connect automatically so most of the time i already had started drove out the driveway in the middle of driving and be like oh let me play some music then i realized that my bluetooth is not connected and then i can't even play music because you can't connect the bluetooth and the, the vehicle is moving so that's that so and then it's like my air only works on the number two they don't work on nothing else other than two. Air and heat don't work on nothing but number two. So I'm by far, I'm, I'm not complaining to you guys. I'm not complaining at all because when I tell you, anybody that I talk to, I express how grateful I am for my car. I don't have no car payment. My car has did me justice. Like I haven't had a car payment for years and it feels good to not have a car payment. My personal property tax is always low. My insurance is not expensive. Everything is just cool. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely convenient. It do its job. You know, it, it, it is nothing. I can see if it was something wrong with my car right now where I can't, like, it's not doing this function, but it does what it's supposed to do. But I definitely been, oh my goodness, if that's not a synchronicity, I don't know what to tell you. Why both of the cars right next to me, in front of me, I don't even know if y'all can see it. Can y'all see it? Literally. 
y'all ain't gonna be able to see the license plate but y'all see those two cars right there both of the license plate end at 6990 both of them that's <laughs> up but anyway so you know it's just those minor things that's um wrong with my car that you know those are you know some inconveniences so it's time for me to get a new car you know i was just telling my friend yesterday that i really have a hard time holding on to stuff in the way of i like to hold on to stuff for a long time like like don't get me wrong i love buying new stuff like if i go to the store a new shirt like stuff like that but when it comes down to stuff like a job a car a place where i'm living i am not that person that go from place to place to place car to car to car like it's just not me and sometimes that could be a good and a bad thing because i like stability and i like consistency however when it's time to when it's time for something else or to just move yourself to something else it's hard for me to do and most of the time i have to be forced to do it meaning it's no other choice but to go to the next step event so like with my apartment the apartment that i was in before this house i lived in that apartment since 2014 i didn't move out until 2021 and that was because our family was growing we had no choice but to move out that was a two-bedroom we was gonna have four kids like it was just time and we needed bigger you know so and my job i've been at my job since 2011 so everything that i've having like i just i've had for a long time i had my car since 2012 so everything i've had in my life i've had for a long time you guys so it's just uh i could almost cry because i really feel like that god is pushing me for more for more for more like Yvette, it's time to stop doing the same thing that you're doing and it's so easy to for years to go by you guys and and next thing you know 15 years to pass you know what i'm saying I, I don't even feel like i've been at my job for since 2012 got my car in 2012 but my car is a 2011 so my car is 11 years old so prior to when i first got my car it was like i think like 13,000 miles on it so it wasn't a lot of miles at all so but my car is 11 years old it's something i keep forgetting it too like i keep forgetting the fact of that even though i keep saying my car is 10 years old no it's not it's, it's older than that because i bought it used it had 13,000 miles on it so i've already told myself that next year no if ands or buts about it i'm getting a new car baby. i'm getting a new car but i just want to be able to and be in the position you know how i know i'm switching subjects so quick but you know how a car in front of you moving slow and you try to go around that damn car and then the car get in the same lane you're trying to go to like are you trying to be funny yeah you guys so i know that i'm going to be in the position to get a new car next year i know that for a fact and i just can't wait i really can't i can't wait i'm excited and i deserve something better and newer and you know i just deserve that i i did a lot of time with my baby but i definitely want to be in a position to where i can afford it and it's not like a burden on me or anything like that like that that because them car babies that'd be something else honey but anyway thank you for listening to my rant you guys <sighs> oh look the lights are playing in front of me say one two three four <laughs>
my bottom look. I had one earring on because I had one tucked and one not. <laughs> but um, I had asked her like, what's the best way to wrap my hair? Because I don't.